Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Well, it's looking as if Santa's really going to need Rudolph to guide his sleigh tonight to deliver presents to the good boys and girls across Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mackenzie Keeline. I'm Joe Nugent. Lee and Diane are off tonight. This is shaped out to be one foggy Christmas Eve, and it's looking to stay that way into Christmas morning. First warning, meteorologist Dan Smith live in the First Warning Forecast Center. Dan? All right, chilly. As we ease into the new year, there are many changes on the horizon. One of them is revamped parking in downtown, but it's not happening as soon as expected. 13 ABC's Michael Bratton following up tonight on when you can see the new parking rules roll out. Look forward to it, Lisa. Blankets of snow are beginning to melt and those temperatures are going to keep warming up. Yes, there's good news over here. Let's uh, check in with first warning meteorologist Dan Smith. He is live in the 13 ABC first warning forecast center. Dan. Well, experts say that this year is going to be a record when it comes to holiday travel. And if you're flying, you could end up sitting next to a stranger who may be sick. And how do you make sure that you don't get what they have? Well, experts say the remedy actually starts before you get on the flight. So the best thing... A local man is receiving hugs, hope, and pancakes as he endures a medical journey. Today was the pancake breakfast for John Danford at the American Legion Post in Rossford, and dozens came hungry to help. Danford was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer around Thanksgiving, and he had to quit his job. Today, the community stepped in to raise money. Today. Oh, it's an awesome turn. A mailman more than likely saved Christmas for quite a few families in a small Kansas town. Check out these photos. The postal worker says he was driving down a rural road Sunday when his mail truck caught fire. When he realized he wasn't able to control the fire, he jumped into action, took the packages from the truck, and put them on the side of the road so none of them would be burned. Firefighters say the truck was engulfed by the time they got there, and we're told the driver did remove each and every package just in time. Wow, how about that? Love you, Harley. Please come home. Those are the pleading words of Harley Dilly's mother asking the community to help find her missing son. It's been nearly three weeks since the 14-year-old disappeared in Port Clinton. In Grand Rapids, Ohio, Rachel Schneider, 13 ABC Action News. I think Clark Griswold has some work to do yeah, here. Yeah, some competition My there for sure. Gosh, jeez. 13 ABC Action News continues in just a moment. Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. It has been a soggy Saturday across the area, and there's even more storms on the way. We are tracking the latest weather developments right now. Let's check in with First Warning Meteorologist Dan Smith. He is live in the 13 ABC First Warning Forecast Center. Dan? Well, Joe, Mother Nature throwing everything she's got at us when I come back. I like the sounds of that. Let's uh, jump outside. This weather can certainly be a challenge for drivers with rainy and windy conditions. 13 ABC's Rachel Snyder has an update from the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Rachel. Action News. Toledo city officials have asked residents to clean out their gutters and make sure all the downspouts are clear. If you have sub pumps, officials suggest make sure they are working. And if you have a basement prone to flooding, now is the time to move everything off the floor into higher ground just in case. If you do experience heavy flooding in your area, you can call Engage Toledo. That number is on your screen. City crews are on standby and they've already set up pumps in places that are known to flood when we receive heavy showers. With more than a month's worth of rain expected this weekend, many are preparing for some of that water to find its way into their homes. One Oregon woman opened her doors to 13 ABC to show us how she prepared for this wet weekend. It will go up to here. Uh, so everything's draining. You can get an update on local weather right from the palm of your hand. Download our free 13 ABC First Warning Weather app. It has everything from the current radar to what you can expect hour by hour. To our west, more than 950 flights have been canceled at O'Hare Airport in Chicago as the city braces for the storm, one that could drop more than a half a foot of snow in some parts. Ice has already started to form on some roads around the city. Plus, Lake Michigan could flood if enough precipitation falls. Midway Airport is also canceling flights. Iranian leaders are now admitting that the Ukrainian plane was shot down by accident just days after the government there denied involvement. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has the latest. Following days of denials, ABC News, New York. 
The search for the missing teen in Port Clinton continues. The police chief taking to social media again to thank the community for helping in the volunteer search for Harley Dilly. Community members combed the area from 9 to 4, even through all the pouring rain today. There are not any new details in the search for the missing 14-year-old. It is believed Harley Dilly was last spotted by a surveillance camera on the morning of December 20th. The reward for Harley's safe return now tops $18,000. An activist makes a stop in Toledo to inspire the next generation to lead. Details from the University of Toledo's special conference 